That's right. So we are here today to give you a friendly reminder to plan ahead. Yes, these are the things to prepare for now before it is time to get your pet into boarding. So first off, we want to start with tick prevention. And second off, we're going to talk a little bit about preparing for vaccinations and vaccination certificates. If you're on oral or chewable forms of tick prevention, you want to be sure that you um, give these to your dog at least three days before you go into boarding. Yeah, I think it's important to remember that if they're due for prevention while you're away, you have to ensure that your boarding kennel is willing and able to administer medications for you. If not, give us a call, we'll organise a schedule according to your needs. That's right. Um, the other type of tick prevention you might have would be topical prevention. Um, so you also want to make sure that these are given properly at least three days before your pet is due to go into boarding. And you want to make sure that you apply them in the right way. Yeah, I think it's um, important to remember that these products um, the topical ones depend on the pet's natural lipid layer to be functioning properly, um, which means that we need to avoid giving them a bath, getting them groomed, or any, any, participating in any kind of soapy activity uh, three days before or three days after um, administering the topical prevention. Right. So the soap will wipe away the natural lipid barrier um, that the product needs. Uh, so that's why we want to avoid bathing our soap. Um, if your pet is not on prevention before they go into boarding, please come and see us. Um, we'll walk through everything that you need to know as far as products that might suit you and your pet and the best way to administer them. Yeah, um, and if you are unsure on how to administer your pet's tooth prevention, it's very important we do it right. Um, so just absolutely come and let us know. Okay. Um, the other thing that you want to be mindful of before your pet goes into boarding is the magic ticket you need your vaccination and vaccination certificate. So please double check with your boarding facility well in advance and see if they require a particular level of vaccination coverage. Yep, so if your pet is up to, back, up to date on vaccinations and you require a certificate from us to show to your boarding kennel facility, please, please, please allow us 24 hours to get this organized for you and have a vet to sign it. That's right, and also please remember, um, vaccines need to be boosted at least two weeks before your pet goes into boarding to make sure that they're adequately covered. Um, the big thing that most kennels will like to make sure that you're covered for is your C3 vaccination, so that's distemper, parvo, and hepatitis. And most of them will require an upgrade to the C5, including the kennel cough vaccine. So the kennel cough vaccination covers for two possible causes of kennel cough. Um, kennel cough is actually an umbrella term for a number of different viruses or bacteria that can cause very contagious respiratory illness in dogs. So ensuring that your pet is vaccinated will minimize the chance that they can get kennel cough while they're in boarding during peak season. Um, remember, no vaccination is 100% uh, and we're only covering for two of seven or eight different things. It does mean some dogs who are vaccinated against kennel cough can still get it, but in the unlikely event that they do, the illness should be a lot less severe and go away a lot sooner. So it is worth having, especially in these busy seasons. Um, another thing to note, if it's been more than six months since your dog has been vaccinated against kennel cough, during these peak seasons, it can actually be wise to consider boostering just the kennel cough part of their vaccinations um, before they go into boarding to make sure it's that much more effective for you. Yeah, and again, please just keep in mind that your boarding facility may require the vaccination, the kennel cough vaccination for all dogs entering into the facility. So coverage might not be an option. Um, so just as well as that, if you think that there's a chance that your pet may be going into boarding um, during the upcoming holiday season, please check with the boarding facility ahead um, and check with us now to see if your pet is actually due for vaccination or if it has been, as Nicole said, more than six months. Um, since the kennel cough part. That's right. We'll make sure that you cover for everything you need. If you think you do require a vaccination appoint, um, appointment, uh, make sure that you call and book well ahead. Call as soon as possible um, because this time of year things get really busy, especially as we approach closer and closer to the holidays. If you want your choice of day and time to come and see us, go ahead and let us know now. Yeah, we definitely don't want you to miss out. So it's really easy to book. You can call us on 90869130 or you can drop by the clinic to organize an appointment and you can even book online through our website. So, and just as well as that, before we wrap up here, 
If you need a vaccination certificate but do not need a vaccination appointment, please, please, please give us at least 24 hours notice as they do require a vet signature to be valid. That's all right. Oh, as well as that, uh, on a final note, if you require boarding for your pet but aren't sure where to go, feel free to give us a call because we can recommend some wonderful boarding facilities or some pet sitters for you. So just give us a call and reach out. That's right. We know there's a lot of information out there about vaccinations, what your pet may need or may not need, um, and a lot of confusion about what they're covered for or whatnot. Um, so if you have any questions or concerns at all about your dog's vaccinations or anything else, of course, please feel free to give us a call. Okay, thank you so much for getting uh, kennel ready with both of us. Have a good day. <laughs>